Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin Phoenix 7 Sapphire Solar and I'm gonna show you how to uh, pair this watch with the iPhone. Before we start, uh, you can pair this watch with an iPhone in two ways. The first way is to do it through the setup process of the watch. So basically if the watch is brand new or it's been factory reset or reset to the factory default settings. And the second way to do it is to do it through the settings once the watch has been already set up because you can set up the watch without connecting it to a phone. First, I'm gonna show you how to do it through the setup process and then I'm gonna show you how to do it through the settings. Okay, so let's continue. And now let's turn on our watch and to do it, press and hold the light button. Once you see the logo on the screen, you can release the button and wait until the watch turns on. Okay, so the watch turns on and if it's brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings, you will see this message on the screen, basically ready. And once you see it, you can tap on the check mark right here or press the start button to continue and this will open the list of languages and here you can scroll through this list of languages by swiping on the screen and you can find the language you would like to use on your watch and once you find it uh, tap on it to select it like this and as you can see now we're being asked if you want to uh, connect our watch to a phone we want to do it so press the uh, start button or tap on the check mark and you will see the QR code on the screen you can scan this QR code with your phone to uh, direct you to the uh, correct app you need to download and install but i'm just gonna open the app store and download it from there um, so make sure you have the internet connection and bluetooth enabled once you do open the app store in the app store tap on search tap on search bar and type in a uh, garmin connect You should see this application, Garmin Connect. Tap on it, then tap on the Get button to download and install it. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on the Open button uh, to open it. In the app, once you see, once you see the pop-up about Bluetooth, tap on OK. And now we need to log in into a Garmin Connect account. If you don't have an account, tap on create account button and just make new one. I already have one, so I'm gonna tap on sign in, check the box right here, tap on next. Now tap on email and password and uh, type them in. Okay, and once you enter the email and password, you can tap on next. Oh, something ran, went wrong, give me a second. I see the error, let's fix it. Okay, this time it worked. So once you log in, um, you may see a couple of pop-ups about uh, more permissions, for example, the connect permission. Uh, so, or rather notification permission, my bad. This is um, required if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch. If you want to use that feature, you need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can deny it. And uh, after that, the app should automatically detect your uh, Phoenix 7 watch. Once it does, you can tap on connect it um, right here. And then tap on pair. Allow or deny the permission for the notifications again. Then tap on next. Right here we can set up the sleep time. So basically the time on which you go to bed and the time you wake up. This is useful if you want to use the do not disturb mode during sleep. So basically you won't be bothered by the notifications and stuff like that. To set it up, tap on the bedtime, uh, set it to the one you like, then uh, wake time, do the same that and then you can tap on next and tap on yes if you want to use the do not disturb mode during sleep on or no if you don't want to use that feature here we have the location permission this is required if you want to uh, track your routes on the map for example if you're running cycling and you want to see your progress on the map you need to allow this permission if you don't care you can deny it and keep it disabled by tapping on skip 
next next we have the calendar access this is you uh, needed if you want to see the calendar events and stuff like that on your watch if you don't care you can skip it and deny it i'm just gonna tap on allow and allow full access then tap on uh, manage permissions and here we can allow more permissions for the garmin connect app uh, right now i'm just gonna go back or rather close the settings and go to the app and tap on skip right here okay then tap on sync and tap on finish and right here we have a tutorial how to uh, set, uh, use the watch basically you can tap on next to go through it and once you're done you can tap on finish so i'm gonna tap on dismiss right here and at this point you should see the my day page of the app the watch should be ready to use like this and you can see the watch icon right here you can tap on it to open the device page or you can uh, tap on more um, tap on garmin devices and you should see your phoenix 7 right here on the list of devices okay so that's how you pair the watch during the setup process now i'm gonna unpair it quickly okay and to pair the watch um, through the settings basically you need to repeat almost uh, the same steps although you need to enter the um, pairing mode differently on your watch so basically you need to press and hold the up button to open the menu once you open the menu you need to scroll down through it find the uh, connectivity option once you find it tap on it here find the phone option and tap on it then scroll down and tap on per phone you, it will enter the pairing mode with the QR code you will need to download the Garmin Connect application install it once you install it you will need to log in and after you log in it should detect your watch but if you have the already the app already installed you need to open it tap on the plus button right here and it's gonna detect your watch once it does basically the same steps tap on connect it and go through the setup tap on pair allow the permissions if you need to okay of course you can deny them too if you want to but basically you need to deal with the permissions with the sleep time uh, and once you're done you can tap on sync now finish and the watch will be paired uh, with your phone uh, this time it went quicker because we already uh, allowed or denied the permissions previously when we were um pairing the watch for the first time that's why we don't need to go through them again but if you install the app for the first time you will need to basically allow them or deny them and it's gonna take longer time okay and again we can tap on the watch right here to see the device page and that's how you pair this watch with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.